acute asthma attacks can happen very quickly. Uh, they can cause breathlessness and they can come on quite urgently. Oftentimes medications aren't always available that allow for sustainment of airway, open airway. And for my father, uh, he was driving, couldn't find medication and passed away. And so um, very painful to lose your father that way, um, changed a lot of things in our lives. And for that reason, amongst many others, I'm committed to changing health for everyone that we can, through any way I can. Tobacco, if you just lump it all together, uh, is related to the top three killers, you know, medical killers uh, in the world. You know, heart disease, stroke, and lung disease. You know, account for a, an enormous majority of uh, medically related death. The American Lung Association has worked diligently for decades in order to improve lung health in adults. The vaping evolution and revolution has set us back. We are losing our battle with our teenagers. We now know that one in four middle school children are vaping. And that only increases as they go into high school. It's no longer cool to smoke cigarettes in high school, but it sure is cool to vape. The work that's being done is monumental in changing what it means to manage asthma, but we're not done. I think that's the point, right? We still don't have a cure. You still have people that pass daily. You have other conditions that create comorbidity with asthma, which makes it difficult to manage. And we have vaping on the rise. We still have smoking on the rise. And so we're not done yet. We have a lot more to do, lots of great progress, but we're not done yet. It is an exciting time for us because we're learning more about simpler ways to screen. We're developing better, more effective treatments for advanced disease. If we can screen detect it, then that's great. That's gravy. That's a get out of jail card for down the road. But if we can remove it, get rid of it uh, at an early stage, then you, you return someone to sort of a normal life expectancy. Let's talk about advocacy at the state capital level, at the national level, trying to fight for those laws that make a difference to protect our children but still give adults with lung disease opportunities to heal and access to medications and therapies that can change the course of their disease and the course of their lives. Well, everyone who takes a breath, of course, uh, is affected by and should be uh, concerned about lung health. Through education, through programming, through medical management, as well as basic daily management, we offer the opportunity to be able to improve lives for each person that suffers from any level of asthma. Asthma is not uh, curable, so getting people the ability to manage it more effectively is incredibly important to good, healthy living. And we have to understand the changes that have already happened in our children and our young adults because there's going to be diseases we have to manage 20 to 30 years down the road. That's what you can do tonight for us. I think it's important that we spend our money wisely and looking into an organization's track record for how much of that donation is put to work in the mission of that organization. And the ALA is very proud that 90 cents of every dollar that is, is donated goes to the mission. Every dollar counts, every activity counts, your energy counts in supporting people that want to do this. That's what makes the change. Being here is the start of that journey. So let's stay on this journey together. It's about sustaining life in a meaningful way. And so when you think about the number of individuals it impacts, there's not one single person that's not impacted by the work that American Lung Association does.